We have imported the new challenge three files. Lots of broken stuff. Let's get started. Uh, number three, the player can't control the balloon. Uh, the problem is in the scripts player controller, which is on the balloon, uh, player controller right there. Um, at the top, they have a rigid body defined, um, but they never have a, assigned a value. So it's never been initialized and here they're trying to add force, but they never have it quite, uh, initialized with a value. So we need to say player RB equals get component and grab that rigid body that is there. So now when you try to add force, it will actually add it to that rigid body. Go back here. Player. Let's collapse some of the stuff. Got way too many things open. Um, so now we actually have a rigid body. So when we play, we can send it way up in the air. Although it's, if we turn off maximize here, it is way going off the screen, but we'll fix that later. Let's look at the next part. The background only moves when the game is over. The background should move at start and then stop when the game is over. And before moving on here, I'm going to set this to like, I don't know, six, maybe even smaller than that. Um, but the background, uh, this move left script, we can open that here, um, should only be moving left. So what this is saying, if game over, in other words, if it's true. So we want to say if game over is is equal to false then translate left number five no objects are being spawned make bombs or money objects spawn every few seconds so the problem here is in the spawn manager script it is doing an invoke repeating of prawns those are seafood we want to run spawn objects so Whatever the name is, you put that inside this string. Oops. Not sure what that was, but let's just spawn objects. There we go. So now it'll run the correct function and it will spawn objects. So it is spawning objects. The background is very distracting, but it is spawning uh, random objects, etc. And my flow force is not nearly strong enough. We'll set this uh, to like 20. Number six, fireworks are appearing on the side of the balloon. That's because the player balloon, this fireworks, is over there. So if we move that closer to where it should be, creating fireworks, there. And it's a child, so it'll follow it around. That'll fix that problem. And number seven, the background is not repeating properly. So if we look, close that up. If we look in the background here, we have the repeat background script. Let's open that. Um, it is getting the size dot Y. It should be getting, if we're getting the repeat width, that should be an X. And that's all you have to change for that one. Number eight, bonus, the balloon can float way too high. So in the player, in the player controller here, um, actually, I'm going to go back here real quick. The highest it should be able to go is roughly, I don't know, 14.36, somewhere in there, right? So in our script for player controller, I'm going to make a new float variable. Um, let's make it a public float, call it ceiling let's call it 14.36 f and basically we're going to check and see if it's above it then it should not go anywhere not go any higher so let's see so every frame we want to check if maybe there if 
transform.position.y. If it is greater than ceiling, which is at 14.36 or so, then several things are going to happen. Um, one is we're going to set it to the ceiling. So transform.position equals new vector 3. And we're just going to give it um, its current x, current z, but then the ceiling for the other one. So I'm just going to copy this and do this, comma, ceiling, comma, that. So that should be a z. That should be its current x. And then ceiling. So that will stick it to the top. So when it tries to go above ceiling, it sets it to ceiling without messing with the x and the z. Now, if we play that, when we go to the top, it kind of sticks until that velocity runs out and then it falls back down. So if we fling it into the top, I let go. It takes a while before it comes back down. So one thing we can do is it's still writing that velocity and not coming back down so that velocity is gone. So if it tries to go above the ceiling, we can just say, okay, player RB, your velocity is equal to, and that's a vector three, so we're just gonna say vector three dot zero. And now, maybe, if I can switch over here. When we try to go above the ceiling, it just kind of falls off because it resets that velocity to zero and it just hits the ceiling. Might be a little low, let's make that 30. And the last one, number nine bonus, the balloon can drop below the ground, make the balloon appear to bounce off the ground and a sound plays. So back in player, player controller, um, we have some audio clips here. I'm actually going to just copy that. We're going to call this the bounce sound. And also back here, we're going to make it easy to detect what we hit by setting this to tag as ground. And then back in the script, we have these on collision enters. If it's tagged as bomb, do this. If it's tagged as money, do this. We're going to add one more else if. And if it's tagged as ground, do what? Well, we don't want that. We're going to play the bounce sound for sure, which we'll assign. And instead of destroying the other object, we're actually going to um, do an add force up like this to make it appear as though it's bouncing. So instead of destroying the other thing, we're going to do a... Uh, let's just multiply this by... Uh, we could try float force, see what happens. Actually, after some experimentation, we'll just make this 5. But we are going to set the force mode to impulse to just give a little jolt of energy going upwards. Don't need this extra line. Go back here. We do need to get a sound in here, though, for the player, the bounce sound. So if you hit the little thing there, there's a bunch. That'll work. Double click that. Boom, let's play. Okay, so it kind of bounces off the ground there. I need to move my camera back, actually, so I can see better. Maybe down just a hair. Maybe extend my ground out. Uh, scale X. There we go. Let's <laughs> see how that looks. There. Now it bounces, it hits the ceiling but doesn't stick. Makes a little noise there. Hey, everything looks good. Ta-da!